Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up a Unity project for the Project Loader Modding SDK. First of all, you need to have Unity installed and this particular version of Unity. The exact version code will be in the description along with some other useful information. Then you should download the Universal Render Pipeline template asset. So you can just click the template here and have the URP template selected. Set up a project name and just click Create Project. Okay, once that is done, it's going to take a while for the Unity project to set up and open. Let's skip that. All right, it took some time, but here is the Unity project we just created. Now I'm going to install the Project Third Eye SDK. You can either download it on the Project Third Eye Discord server or on the modding Discord server, which is a separate Discord server just for modding. Okay, double click it. Now it's going to ask you if you really want to import this because it contains uh, project settings. And that's why it's important that you use an empty project and don't uh, screw up any projects you have. Then we go to import. And here we can see a few project settings that are going to be imported along with all these assets from the actual SDK. Okay, we go to import and then it starts importing. And one more time, it's going to take a few seconds. All right, once we have successfully imported the project loader SDK, we can open the folder and go into examples. And here we have a vehicle, for example. Let's make the gizmos a little bit smaller. Yeah, maybe like this. Perfect. Um, yeah, we have the vehicle. So let's export this vehicle uh, into the desktop, for example, just to see how the modding SDK works generally. You have to go to export settings. There it is. And then let's say we name it vehicle. Author is you. Then we select a mod asset directory. That's going to be the vehicle from example. Here it is. We are in the project Loray SDK folder, which is right here. Then we just select the vehicle folder. And we select a destiny. And in this case, I'm just going with the desktop to show you where it is. Um, otherwise, it might make sense for you to just go for the persistent data path of the game. Um, it's local app data slash uworks slash third eye slash mods slash spawnables or maps. I'm going to put that into the description as well. And once you've done that, you're basically ready to go. You just have to go right over here and select build mod. And now it's going to compile. Perfect. And once that is done, we got the mod on the desktop, which is right here. And once your mod is built, you just have to go into the persistent data path for Project Third Eye. The link is in the description. And then you go into mods, spawnables, and then you can just drag the vehicle in there and it will be available in building, saved items and mods. That's how it works. If you don't have these directories, um, it's Third Eye, mods, spawnables, and that's where the uh, P3E modding scripts, uh, modding files can go and will be loaded in the game. That's basically how it works. Follow a bit about a minute of Project Third Eye. 